Hey everybody, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I, <clears throat> try that again. Hey everybody, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I have had a busy couple of weeks and uh, so I've barely had anything out on my channel and so I want to do a mailbag. I miss talking to you guys. Um, I've got some projects that are in progress but uh, nothing I can post yet. Everything just winds up needing something and so uh, let's open up some mail. So the first thing I got are these little hooks and some of the stuff is out of the boxes but I haven't actually opened it so I'm kind of, uh, screw it. Um, so these little tiny hooks that are made to go on, I believe they're made to go on DuPont wires. Let me take a look. I should have been more prepared than this. So a while ago I did those, uh, that review on the Zero Plus Logic Analyzer and really loved the thing. Um, but the thing I liked one of the most about it was the, the little hooks for grabbing things. And I need to figure out exactly how these work, but I feel like, yeah, okay, so you can, stick a DuPont wire in the end of that and then all of a sudden now your DuPont wire becomes a grabby and so you can grab onto something else and so these are fan freaking tastic um I'm sure they're not going to make as great of a connection but when I was messing around with the logic analyzer <laughs> so, yeah as I said I'm not sure the connection is going to be so fantastic and maybe you're supposed to take the thing apart and so, yeah I guess what you do is you solder on the end of it um yeah, so maybe I would I would solder that wire on there and then make my own grabby thing. That's a lot better. I'm just gonna I'm gonna do it that way. Um, but yeah, so I can make my own grabby Dupont wires. That is the plan for this thing. And uh, I also figured there's a chance the ones on the logic analyzer are very delicate, and I'm sure these are too. Like I could probably rip that off and bend that. And if these aren't grabby, they're not any good. So hopefully, um, you know, I got some spares here. I got two packs of them. Looks like 20 total, so uh, I'll let you know the price. These came from AliExpress, but I'm sure you can get them off Banggood or your ever wherever your preferred retailer is. It is 4:22 in the morning here in Florida land, and I just need to talk to my people, man. Okay, so we got this right here. Barely fits in the package. Or barely fits on the screen. Oh, hand tech. So, hand tech. Let's open this bad boy up. This was a gift from Banggood. I don't know if you consider that uh, a promotion, but yeah, I guess so. They sent it to me for free and told me to do whatever review I wanted. And so, let oh, that's girthy. So let's uh, pull the thing. Oh, 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 we got an adapter. These, things, you know, it's actually kind of funny. I wanted to order some of these because these little travel adapters are so handy around the world. This feels like about the cheapest one you could make, but uh, these are so handy. Actually, I guess I normally buy the other version to go into the Euro plug. All right, let's see. What we have that is a that is very bright screen printing there. Is screen printed, right? Eh, yeah, I think it's screen printed. Okay, so this, ah, you don't care about the probes. Ooh, that is a hefty meter. Holy crap. Wow. Okay, this is the Handtech 2D72 handheld oscilloscope. Ooh, that was satisfying. I'm sure that, uh, I'm sure YouTubers better than me, uh, could tell you off the bat all the features of this thing. But, um, yeah, this is a portable multimeter slash oscilloscope. Let's, uh, let's try not to break it. It is a, I'm going to set it on the side so it's not sitting there reflecting the whole time. Uh, let's see here. Warning, do not touch any exposed terminals, blah, blah, blah. This little thing comes out. I feel like I could break it, so I want to be careful about that. Um, so it does come with a European USB charger, which I guess could be kind of handy to have. So <laughs> that... I mean, that is quite the uh, the thing there. So it's got a USB-C cable. That's nice. A lot of people get excited about those. Um, so I can use my phone thingy. All right. So we've got two sets of probes here. They are, uh, they're not silicone. They feel like PVC wire, um, you know, just very basic um, probes here. And then a set of meter probes. So this is actually, it's it says oscilloscope on it, but it is made to be a digital multimeter and oscilloscope. So 
Okay, we've got your average. I would consider these just just feeling them. I would say they're a step above your cheapest multimeter uh, probes that you can get. So they're you know they're not silicone high end. They're not fluke. They're not any of those things. But they're you know nice. I'm gonna obviously have to do a separate video on this. But uh, so there's no boxes checked. So I don't know exactly which one this is. I feel like it's 80 megahertz if I'm not mistaken. But we'll see. Oh, hey, another another oscilloscope probe. So I guess those are more meter probes that were on the other one. Uh, but yeah, this would look like more of an oscilloscope probe and your little tuner. Um, so, okay, there we go. Okay, so I mean, it looks like that your typical, uh, I don't know, it, it definitely looks way nicer than the typical DSO. I don't, is it touchscreen? Not touchscreen. Uh, so channel one, channel two, enable, coupling, you view two channels separately, scope. Okay, so digital multimeter. This is, oh, that's kind of fun. So uh, I'm not ready to review the scope thing, but okay, so I do see a battery is charging here. So this thing is rechargeable. It doesn't necessarily have to be tethered, but uh, similar to that Kai Wheats meter, when you are in a multimeter mode, it tells you which ports to plug in over here. So I'm on for voltage and I'm on for DC voltage. So I can... Uh, I'm guessing it's auto-ranging. Oh, so DC voltage, ohms, speaker, DC amps, DC milliamps, DC millivolts, AC volts, AC amps, AC milliamps, and you've got some component testers. And so, very, very interesting. Um, it's got auto-ranging, so... Yeah, so this looks like this deserves an entire video of its own. Um, but thank you to Banggood. Oh, hey, I just play, oh, power off after five seconds. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. So, uh, yeah, this, mm, <laughs> go through the menu. Did I lock it up? Okay. Uh, yeah, so this looks like it deserves a, a video of its own. I obviously have no idea what I'm doing. So I'm going to check this thing out and I'll do a better review of this handheld oscilloscope multimeter. This is a mystery package from India. It is a box inside of a bag. And it is a box inside of a box inside of a bag. This one's taped. Important, go to this, developereconsystems.com. And this is, this is a bag inside of a box, inside of a box, inside of a bag. And this is, I believe, an early edition, high-end Raspberry Pi camera. Ooh, that's fancy. So it has the traditional ribbon cable and uh, dual boards on it. So one for the camera and I'm guessing some kind of interface board. And I don't know anything about this. Next up, we have something that goes along with a mailbag video that I never actually put out. I think this is um, just one of those. Okay. This is a mechanic. Oh, hey, <laughs> this is a mechanic brand plunger. And um, if you've use these things before they one thing they don't even come with the plungers which this might even be too stuck in ah that's split on the side there's no way i'm jamming a metal plunger down there but um the idea with this if i can get out of the dang package get a spudger to get the dang thing out i'm gonna scratch my anodized aluminum uh so the idea with this is it is made to be a higher end one of these plungers for these types of things, although it doesn't look like it reaches to the end. Uh, and then another nozzle for this thing. So I don't know, maybe I need a different size uh, one of these things. So this is a 20 milliliter, so maybe I need a smaller uh, a smaller one. It doesn't really tell you very much, but I will say this. Uh, Voltlog recommended this thing, and I'll have to go back and watch his video and see which uh, syringes he used, and maybe I'll link to those. But one thing he did recommend was also this mechanic tip refresher, and this stuff is great. I used it on my homemade Hack-O desoldering thing, and I use it with my regular Hack-O station, and uh, this stuff is great. You just kind of dip it in there, and uh, 
it refreshes the tip of your soldering iron. It works amazingly well. And so on a, on a lark, I kind of bought this thing. I don't know if it was a good purchase or not, but, um, I'll try to get some more of these little plungers and put the whole thing together. Next up, we've got a couple of 3D printing supplies. And uh, you see, I've got new filament. And the reason why I have new filament is I sort of went through this thing with my 3D printer where um, it worked perfectly for like a year and a half. And then a piece cracked on it and I replaced that piece. And then during the time it was down, I think my filament got a little dry or got a little wet and all this stuff. I do live in Florida, as I said, and I just had nothing but problems and I had issues with the bed and all that. So what I want to do is I want to do a live stream. So I thought about it instead of me and my amateurness working on my 3D printer and having you guys tell me I did it wrong. I thought maybe as a group, we could talk through it and you guys could help me figure out what I need to do to fix the 3D printer. And so um, while I was at it, like I have a BL Touch. I have one of those auto leveling things, never put it on there. Figure if we have time, we could do that. Um, I got these new handles and springs, uh, probably not something I absolutely need, but um, I feel like the springs are an issue on my bed. I have more of this Capricorn tube, which I actually had some of this. I just never put it in. It came with a couple of nozzles and those uh, little things to put the, the Bowden tube in. Um, make sure my address is on this one. It is, so I'm gonna flip it upside down. This is a new glass bed. And uh, don't know if it was a good idea or not. But you guys weren't around when I had to make a decision. So uh, the bed is completely jacked on my Ender 3. So I got the... Ah, oh, is that broken? No, okay. Yeah, I got this uh, this new glass bed for the Ender 3 and some filament. Filament has actually gone up in price a lot uh, because everybody got 3D printers for Christmas and stuff. So this is from Micro Center on a recent trip up there. And I have not opened it, but I got some silver PLA that um, I figure when I start everything off, I'm going to start with fresh filament and we're just going to see what happens. So I will let you guys know when there's going to be a live stream. Keep an eye out. I would love your help fixing my 3D printer. Okay, we've got another thing here that I just thought was kind of handy. My wife uh, gave me this thing and so uh, I've been waiting for you guys to open it up. And it is a four-in-one pen tool from the container store. I got my wife a gift card and she got me a uh, four-in-one uh, pen tool. So you kind of twist it for the pen to work. Oh, it's actually a nice writing pen. Like it, it feels really smooth. Um, but it has a ruler on it and it has a level on it. And then there's a screwdriver somehow. How does the screwdriver happen? Okay, that unscrews. Oh, funny. Okay, so it's a, yeah, I mean, it is, and it's magnetic. That's actually kind of nice. I was like, how the heck can I look all over this desk and not find anything that needs to be unscrewed? And I know this thing shows a missing screw, but that was from an earlier teardown. Uh, so it is, it's funny. I'm like, I'm doing the pen trying to unscrew it. So, I mean, it is, it, I mean, it definitely works. So this is kind of a funny thing, but there, and this is a very Dan thing. There have been multiple times that I've had to make um, trips to Dollar Tree while I was on road trips and stuff to get those cheap mini screwdrivers. Like multiple times I've been helping people on their computers. I've needed to take a laptop apart or something like that. Um, and, you know, you don't carry these mini screwdrivers around with you. So I'm probably going to put this in my travel bag. Um because, you know, I'm going helping with somebody and they want to swap out their slow hard drive for an SSD or something like that. I think this would get the job done. Uh, I might strip all the screws in the way, but, um, you know, so it is a, it's very cool. I'm glad I got it. Thanks, honey. Okay. A couple more items we're going to kind of blitz through. Um, a couple of flea market finds. These were a quarter each. They are thermocouples, replacement thermocouples for, um, Dynaglow and vent free. So I'm guessing it's for either uh, like ventless heaters or ventless fireplaces or something like that. But I thought a quarter for a thermocouple, like I don't really see very much that they go bad. Um, maybe they could, but uh, I figure I'll plug those in, maybe use them in an Arduino project or something like that. Quarter each was $16.98. Holy cow. All right. Next up, I've got these two things. Um, I don't think I've ever shown you this. This is, I don't, yeah, this is the one I got for a quarter. That has a sticker on it. Um, so yeah, I got this for a quarter and this for $2. And if you've never used one of these, uh, these are cable tacking 
staples and uh, they're really nice because you can not worry if you pay any kind of attention at all to hitting the wire itself so as I put this down you know it's not going to hold it great but it sort of makes a pathway for your wires good for Christmas lights good for running Ethernet cable and things like that I'm going to give you guys a weird camera angle while I'm at it um, since I've got the board out I was going to show you another thing I bought I bought this uh, Ryobi stapler like a 3 8 inch normal like your t50 type stapler uh, i got this for 50 bucks which is actually kind of a lot for me to spend on something but um it was still on sale and so uh, i have air over here in my shop but not as good as it is in my garage and so it's really a pain to use air nailers and stuff over here in fact i just don't for the most part so um i've been kind of picking up when i find them on sale the little battery operated tools and so uh this thing is just great my wife is a teacher she borrows my staple gun all the time this my staple guns go all over her school and so um, a lot of the teachers have a hard time you know, getting the real staple gun to work so uh yeah so this is the ryobi what do they call it it's got to have a name on it they call it the i don't know i expect to see it under the battery this is the p317 t50 crown stapler and last but not least, we have this doohickey. Uh, I gotta figure out how to show it to you. This is a lamp that I got for two bucks at the flea market. Um, I figured I would live stream or, you know, live record my actually plugging it in because it feels a little weird to have this metal based lamp that I got out of a box at a flea market. But, uh, this thing has these articulating joints that are two ball things and a, uh, you know, some, some hex or some uh, allen screws and stuff like that and uh so you can kind of position it wherever you want and so it's got this alligator clip on this side and that kind of reminded me that it could be kind of a cool soldering accessory uh, otherwise i just bought it for the joints uh something my brother-in-law says all the time um so i've got this thing here it kind of moves around and the question is does it work so i'm definitely not going to touch the base when i plug this thing in oh gosh here we go. Ooh, hey, it works. Let me shut up. Okay. Yeah, hey, it works. Um, so this thing, you can kind of position it like one of those little uh, cool little lights. So I figured, yeah, I can make something out of this. I can either use it as a soldering holder. I can use it for decorative purposes. Uh, but this is my $2 lamp. So that's all I got. That was my fun uh, the last couple of weeks. It's come in the mail, and uh, I will try to get that live stream out maybe even this weekend. We'll see. Um, thanks to Banggood for the meter slash oscilloscope. And, uh, yeah, hope you had fun. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you're enjoying 2021. Thanks for watching.